So this brings me to the fun stuff. Uh, one of the things I want to really focus on here. Look at the list of manufacturers this program included. Out of the many Forza manufacturers, you'll notice some are missing, uh, like Ferrari and Maserati, for example. Uh, let me just reiterate that this software was out even before the first Forza Motorsport hit shelves. Uh, so this development team, the development team of this software, um, chose to go with these brands because they felt like they'd have you know, the most luck or, or knew the most about these companies so that they could include them. Uh, let's peruse real quick here. They come with preset engines, you know, if you have a, a four-cylinder Chevy, you have different engine sizes, uh, nicknames in some cases, um, small block options here, big block options here, um, a lot of the same for Pontiac because they're under the same manufacturer. More on that in just a second. Um, here's the board stuff. It's a four-cylinder, 2.3, the six cylinders. The SHO V6, there's a little, you know, nickname. Uh, eight small block. Uh, and they have, like, the engine bore and the crankshaft stroke included, so it gives you, you know, a four-inch bore with two one-thousandths of an inch extra by a three-inch stroke. That's a Ford 302. Uh, Chevy's 302, just backtracking for a second. It's a straight 4 inch bore by a 3 inch stroke. Um, Oldsmobile, 4 cylinder odds. Here's a you know, nickname Quad 4, the Tech 4. 6 cylinder, 8 cylinder. Big block applications. Um, Pontiac, big block. This one's actually in the game. There's a 455 V8, that's in the 1973 Firebird. Um, here's Audi, it's a 5 cylinder. Six cylinder, it's an eight cylinder Audi, three point seven and four point two. Um, you get Datsun, you got Datsun and you've got Nissan. So those should be pretty similar. Um, here's Porsche, four cylinder. It's a three liter four cylinder, that's a big four cylinder. Six cylinder, eight cylinder. You got Mercedes, a six cylinder, an eight cylinder. 4.2, 5 liter, 12 cylinder, 6 liter. Volkswagen, little 1.8 Volkswagen, yep, there it is. Uh, how about the 2.2 Honda? It should be in here too. Yep, there's the 2.2 Honda. Um, just you can see there's a lot of a lot of stuff here. BMW straight sixes, 3, 2, 5, 3, 3, 2, 3, 5, 8 cylinder, 12 cylinder, 4 cylinder. So they come with lots of uh, pre built engine blocks. Um, so you'll notice that there are half manufacturers missing uh, in regards to Forza Motorsport. And by half I mean there's no Acura but there is Honda. Uh, there's no Lexus or Scion here but there is Toyota. Um, and that's how they get you know their engines. Um, you'll see Lexus and Scion are pretty much American domestic uh, Toyota manufacturers. So most major manufacturers are represented but none of the minor manufacturers are. Or are they? Uh, De Tommaso isn't represented here, but uh, the Pantera used a Ford 351 Cleveland, so there's that. Mosler sources their motor from the Corvette, so just build a 350 for a Mosler. Weissman and Mini use BMW engines. Here's BMW, 8-cylinder, 6-cylinder, 4-cylinder. Saline uses Ford engines. Um, 351, uh, a while back 281, they're both there. Uh, you can build a 302 if you want for it. Uh, you don't see Holden or Vauxhall listed, though they fall under General Motors. So you could actually build a Buick, Chevy, GMC, Olds, or Pontiac, um, and stick it in one of those, um, stick it in a Holden or a Vauxhall. If Turn 10 were to include the Aerial Atom, uh, its engine is a supercharged version out of the Civic Type R. So you could build a Honda engine for that. Uh, Jay Leno suggested and ultimately persuaded Ariel to use the engine from a Chevrolet Cobalt SS for the American market, uh, and he did that because the, you know the United States doesn't get the Honda Civic Type R, um, at least not the you know Japanese and European spec um, block. So he just did that. To, he did that to make it easier for you know Americans who buy the car, like him, <laughs> um, easier to get the car worked on. So using this method of sharing manufacturer engine blocks, a large percentage of the current manufacturers within Forza are covered. 
So that pretty much concludes uh, the uh, preset engine builds. Uh, I didn't get to all of them, uh, but I did go through most of them, and there's, you know, there's some engines here I can show. Um, which brings me to my next topic, uh, is displacement math. Uh, it's more math. It's less complex than this camshaft math or the cylinder, cylinder head airflow math. Um, it's pretty easy, and it's actually how you determine <coughs> the displacement of an engine, um, and how many cubic inches or cubic centimeters it might have, uh, which directly relates to its liters. Uh, finding displacement is a multiplication of four numbers, um, or five. Uh, one of the numbers is squared. Um, and then one of the other numbers is a division of pi over four. And the quotient of that, uh, it's about 0.7854, uh, is multiplied by the other factors here. So I'm just going to show you something that's familiar to myself. It's a Chevrolet small block. We'll go to 350. So the 350 is a four-inch bore by a 3.48-inch stroke uh, with eight pistons, uh, eight cylinders, and then uh, that 0.7854 pi over four factor. Um, and I'll bring up a calculator and I'll show real quickly. Uh, four inch bore, 3.4 inch stroke, four inch bore, so bore times bore, or bore squared, times that 3.4 inch stroke, times the number of cylinders or pistons, and then all that multiplied by the quantity of pi over 4. 0.785, roughly 0.7854 equals 349.8. That's the same 349.8 you get there. So make that go away. Uh, so you can increase or decrease your displacement. <coughs> and if you remember my, my uh, comment earlier about wanting to buy bare engine blocks uh, and crankshafts from the in-game manufacturers, this is why. Because we could actually take the bare block um, and bore it a little bit more, or give it a different crankshaft and stroke it, or or sleeve it, and that is make the bore smaller. So you can increase and decrease the displacement of an engine. I'm going to go back to uh, Chevy 350 here real quick. Here's the whole like the whole family of eight-cylinder small block Chevrolets, at least that are preset included in this uh, software. So you see the four-inch bore. It's co it's common by um, oh common to a couple of different engines. The 302 has a four-inch bore and a three-inch stroke. So that crankshaft has a you know three-inch stroke on it. The 327 has a four-inch bore and a crankshaft with a 3.25-inch stroke. And the 350 is a four-inch bore and a 3.48-inch stroke. So these blocks can all share these same cr uh, crankshafts strokes, um, and that's true really because all these are all headed underneath the 8-cylinder small block family. Um, so you can increase and decrease. I mean, the in Forza Motorsport 3, we are allowed to increase the displacement, but they're preset sizes. So they're sizes that Turn 10 um, developers have just plugged in. So like you can buy a 5.7, I think you can buy like a 5.9 or a 6.2, something like that. But you can't like fine-tune it, basically. You have to go by what they say. Whereas if you watch, um, we'll build, let's see, we'll, I'll start with a 350 and we're going to build our way up to a 383. So you see this stroke is 3.48, this stroke is a 3.75. Uh, this is actually a common upgrade, at least amongst V8s, is, a, is what they call 30 over. It's 30 thousandths of an inch, or just 3 one hundredths of an inch. Um, so let's go back here. So let's say you're racing in Forza Motorsport, and you just want, you've got your 350 and you want just a little bit more, a few more cubic inches. Uh, maybe your engine's starting to wear out, um, and you can actually kind of solve that by entering this uh, 30 over, <coughs> like I mentioned before. And it becomes a 355. Um, so your pistons got a little bit bigger, uh, nothing else changed. Here's your stroke. Uh, you're racing along, you, you know, you decide you want more power, you want some serious more power. But let's go back to the 4 inch bore. So you want a lot more power, um, but you don't want to get into the block at all. You just want to swap out the crank. Well, remember that 3.75. If we do that, you have a 377 cubic inch Chevy, which that's another kind of common upgrade. Uh, it's basically a 350 block with a 400 crank. Uh, we'll take a look real fast here, and I'll show you. 350 block, 400 crank, 
3.48, swap that out, and you'd get your 377, which is not here because it's not a preset. So now, you you say you built your 377, and you want to make it a true 383. Well, that would be this with a 30 over. Here's your 383, it's 382 point something, but we call it a 383. And you'll see 4030, 3.75. If I just go here, it's all set. Who knows what 383? Now I was a uh, I was a fan of the Trans Am racing series uh, back in 1994, 1995, 1996. It was mostly Mustang versus Camaro, um, Tommy Kendall versus Ron Fellows. Uh, it also had Greg Pickett was in an Oldsmobile. Brian Simo, I believe, was in a Mustang. Um, and that series was limited to about 310 cubic inches, roughly, I, I th is what I recall. Let's go back to the 350 here. And like I was saying, how all these are in the family of a, of a Chevy small block, you can take these cranks, you know, and pair them up with pretty much any of these engines. So, if you have a 350, and you want to put this stroke of 3.1 in the 350, you'll watch, we're going to decrease decrease, so it was 3.48, we're going to take a smaller crankshaft, and there's 311. And that's pretty much how you would make, you know, if you had the volume restrictions for a certain race series, you could just take, take it, you know, pull a crank out of a smaller engine, and stick it in a, you know, larger engine, you have a, you destroke it, is what we've just done, and we've decreased the, the volume, and uh, we haven't done anything to power yet, that would be here. But I'll show you that in a little bit too. Um, and this particular program, you can also rename it. So let's say it's not a Chevy 350 anymore; it's a Chevrolet 310. And that I, that would be very nice if we could include that in Forza Motorsport 5. You know, sooner rather than later. It may already be in 4. Who knows? Um, but uh, I'm impatiently waiting to see.